Hey guys, let me walk you through um, some of the assignments that are on Google Classroom for this week. Okay, in fact, I'm going to walk you through all of the assignments. Okay, so I'm kind of walking you through the checklist that is on Remind. Okay, so let's see. First of all, you're going to watch this video. If you're watching this video, good job. You already did that. Okay, so then you are going to be turning in a vocabulary worksheet. So you're going to want to go, of course, to the um, Remote Learning Week 2 in Google Classroom, okay? And in here, we have all of our assignments, okay? One of them is the Utopia Vocabulary Assignment. This is very basic. You are going to put your name in here. You're going to use dictionary.com to find definitions for these words. Okay, and then you are going to um, give the definitions, okay, and then you're going to turn it in, okay? So there's some sample sentences in here to just kind of help you with that as well. So that is that assignment. That assignment, the Utopia vocabulary, is due on Wednesday, April 8th. Okay, and it says that in Google Classroom, but this is due on Wednesday, April 8th. The next thing that is going to be due is the um, Comparison Chart Sources Checklist. Comparison Chart Sources Checklist. Okay, so let's find that. Um, so this one, Okay, you're gonna open this up. It's just a quick Google Forms and it's just letting me know that you have figured out what two sources you plan to watch this week. Okay, so the big assignment for this week is for you guys to either watch two movies or watch one movie and read one short story or you could also read um, two short stories. It doesn't really matter. You can do any combination, but you're gonna pick two sources and then you're gonna be filling out a chart, okay? So the first thing you need to do is just tell me, what are you doing? Are you gonna watch The Hunger Games and Wally? -E? Are you going to watch The Hunger Games and read The Lottery? Are you going to watch Wally -E and read The Fun They Had? It's up to you, okay? You do need to know these two short stories, The Lottery and The Fun They Had. Those two short stories are both up in Google Classroom as a PDF. Okay, um, you can also find them in the comparison chart. There's a hyperlink in the comparison chart that you can use to get to those PDFs. But um, the big thing is the two films, we weren't able to find free versions of those um, that we really trusted. So in order to watch The Hunger Games or WALL-E, you're gonna have to find them on Netflix or I don't know, Hulu, Disney Plus, whatever it is. And if you don't have access to that, that's totally fine. You're just gonna instead wanna read the two stories which we have provided for you, okay? But if you would rather watch The Hunger Games, which is a really fun movie, um, you can do that, okay? Wally's also a good one. All right, so that's the other thing that's due. This is due Wednesday, okay? And all it is is just telling me I know which two things I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do The Hunger Games and I'm gonna do The Lottery. Submit that, that lets me know, you know what's going on for the week, okay? So those are the only two things that are due on April 8th, okay? On April 8th, you're gonna turn in the Utopia vocabulary handout, and you are going to turn in the comparison chart sources checklist, which is this assignment we're looking at right now, okay? So those are the things that are due on Wednesday. Then you are going to, throughout the week, watch the movie, read the stories, whatever it is you're gonna do. And as you are watching those, you are going to be filling out a chart, okay? You're gonna open up this chart. So this is the um, unit two dystopia versus utopia. As you can see at the very top, this is not due until Monday, April 13th, okay? So as you are watching these, and here, here's where you can see the hyperlinks are in here, the lottery short story and the fun they had short story. Okay, so you're gonna tell me what evidence did you choose? Okay, so right here, I would type in The Hunger Games, okay? And then I also decided, I decided I was gonna do some reading, okay? So I'm gonna type in here, The Lottery, right? 
I'm then going to go through here and notice I'm going to have, um, I might need to refer to my vocabulary worksheet just to make sure I have this information right. But what is some of the propaganda that is used? Um, in what way is the natural world banished and distrusted in these films or in the stories? Society is an illusion of a perfect utopian world. Okay, so in what ways does everybody think it's so perfect, but really it's not so perfect? Okay, and you're just going to continue. You're going to answer it for each of your sources. All right, so that's the next thing that you're going to do. This is due, wait for it, Monday, April 13th. Okay, this is due Monday, April 13th. You're going to finish this, okay, and you are then going to go in here. Okay, you will have opened it, and let's just talk about this real quick. So you'll open it. So let's say you're Miss Welsh. You're going to open this, right? Um, and then once you're done, up at the top, let's see, can I move my little thing here? You guys, this says return because I'm the teacher in this class, but you guys will have a little thing that says turn in. So please make sure you're pressing turn in on any assignments. Any assignments that have a turn in button, please click the turn in button, okay? I'm going to talk in a minute about Gradebook and some of the stuff that's up there. So um, I want to make sure you guys are seeing that just because that helps me keep track of you getting all of your assignments done. Okay, so that is the um, dystopia versus utopia comparison chart. And that is due Wednesday, I'm sorry, that is due April 13th, which is a Monday. Okay, so you have an entire week to finish that one because you're gonna have to read a story and watch a movie or read two stories. So I wanted to give you plenty of time on that. Okay, the next thing that is due on Wednesday again, is in this Google Classroom. I'm not gonna to go to that one yet. Um, the only, let's see, the other thing that's due is this student feedback, okay? So you're gonna open that, and it's just a quick survey, okay? It's not gonna take you a ton of time. You're gonna start here, then click next, go to the next page. I didn't fill it out, so it's angry at me. Answer all of the questions on this survey, please. And then again, you're gonna press turn in when you are done with that. Okay, so that survey is not academic at all. It's just asking some questions to you about how this is going, what videos are working, are, are there things in your other classes that you love that you would like me to do as well. Okay, so just some feedback for me on how is online learning going. Okay, I want to take a minute. Did we talk about my wall yet? Um, my wall has all sorts of like off-limit signs right now. It says gather. Can't gather. There, there will be no gathering. My wall also says, together is a wonderful place to be. We're not allowed to be together. Like, it's not a wonderful place to be. Like, we all have to be far, far away from each other. So that's great. Okay, so side note about the back of my wall here. Um, all right, so you need to make sure you also turn this survey in by Monday, April 13th. Okay, and we'll have a list of this. I'm going to show you the checklist where it says all this. And of course, I also sent you this in Remind, this is hard to see, okay, but this Remind checklist, I'm just trying to put the checklist everywhere I possibly can so that you guys are able to see what all is due um, in the week, okay? So next one on remote learning, let's see, student feedback, we did that one, okay? So student feedback is due April 13th. You need to turn in the dystopia versus utopia comparison chart. That is due April 13th. You also need to turn in an independent reading log. I don't know if you noticed, but on the block schedule, it lets you know that you are required to do 60 minutes of independent reading every week. Just to give you a little bit of perspective here, guys, my kid in second grade is supposed to be doing 45 minutes of independent reading a day. And that's on top of all of his other reading, he's doing a lot of reading. Um, so I feel like this is a really doable number for right now. Of course, we are gonna be getting into the giver, not until next week, but um, I think for right now, guys, this is, a, this is a, good, it's a good goal. I would love it if you did more than that. And again, read whatever you want. Read whatever you want. Just read, find something good and, and read it. Okay, so you'll look um, on this log. I would just like you to tell me, what did you read? 
Okay, and again, this doesn't include the giver. This is something separate that's just fun for you. Feel free to look at my um, reading list that I sent out that you guys helped me write. So I just wanna know when did you read it, the title of what you read, how long did you read it, parent initials on there, they're just gonna type in, okay? Just kinda of letting us know that they're holding you accountable for that reading as well. All right, so let's see. April 13th, we have survey on Google Classroom, student feedback survey, dystopia versus utopia comparison chart, the reading log that you are gonna get done there, and then, the very last thing, you're gonna do this at the very, very end when you're like, Ms. Curtis, I think I'm done with all of my work for the week. You are going to go find your week two checklist, okay? You're gonna open that up. Work with me, Google Classroom. You're gonna open that up, okay? And you are just gonna go through and say, have I done everything, okay? Did I watch the video? Yes, you did, you're watching it right now. Did I do the Utopia vocabulary? Check. Did I do my choices? Um, this is like a chart sources check-in. Okay, did I do that? Did I let Ms. Curtis know what two sources I plan to use for my assignment this week? Did I take the student feedback survey? Yes, I did. Did I do the dystopia comparison chart? Did I fill in my reading log on Google Classroom? Did I turn in this form? And then of course, really in order to do that comparison chart, did I watch or read two of the sources listed in Dystopia versus Utopia chart? Just gonna do a little checklist at the end of the week to make sure have I done everything that was required of me this week, okay? And at that point, I'm gonna turn that in. Again, make sure you press turn in, okay? So I'm gonna show you something in just a sec here. All right, that is it for week two. That is the only thing due for week two, okay? So um, I do wanna let you know here that there is a, a tab up top that says grades, and um, the district still has not decided what, what we are doing to track um, student progress here. So with the online remote learning, I am tracking everything you do, okay? Most things are just gonna be worth one point. Um, but you'll see quizzes and stuff, like last, last week's quiz was worth eight points. So you'll see things like that, but for the most part here, unless it's like a quiz that has a certain number, I'm just gonna be doing one point. And then once I get some directives from the district and really from the state, it's the state that we're waiting to hear from as well, um, I'll let you know, I'll, I'll let you know all of that. But for now, I'm saving all of it. It's in the grade book. I don't usually have the grade book on, on Google Classroom during the normal year because I use Q. Um, and for right now, I'm not using Q. I am just putting everything in Google Classroom. Your parents can join if they would like. I'll send out some information on this, but if they would like to be able to track what you're doing, they're um, gonna be able to go on, but they just need to let me know that, that they want to be invited as a guardian. Okay, and then they will be able to see also whether or not you've turned in all the assignments for the week. So that is what we are doing this week. Okay, I really hope that this is going well for you guys. I, I've been busy. I can't even believe how busy I am. Um, just kind of getting all of this up and running and working with administration on how this is going to look for Rosemont. Um, I love seeing your responses on essay pop. I've been trying to answer as many of those as I can or check in with all of you as much as I can, but I really enjoyed kind of seeing, seeing that, hearing how you guys are doing, hearing about the positives that you guys are getting out of this. Um, a lot of the same kind of answers. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of talk about family time and how you're, you know, trying to really kind of soak up and enjoy this time with your family. I've heard a lot about creative activities you guys are doing, and sounds like you're doing a lot of art. Sounds like we're doing some online gaming. I mentioned to a few of you that I um, I have discovered that I'm terrible at Mario Kart. I've been having online games with Mrs. Cho and her husband, Warren and I a couple times have had these, um, we go online and we Zoom together and we verse each other on Mario Kart. And um, I lose every time. Like not like a little bit, like a, a lot. Like I get, Mr. Cho is like lapping me. Like I'm like, it's, 
it's terrible. I'm, I might need to do some webinars on how to play Mario Kart. So if anybody has like online gaming tips for me, apparently this is the world we live in and I need to like learn how to be an online gamer because I'm terrible. Sawyer in fact walked up behind me one time when I was playing and he was like, hey mom, welcome to last place. He's, he's five and I'm, it's shameful. He's five. He's five. And he's mocking me. So um, thanks, guys. Just wanted to share a little bit of like the pain and suffering that I'm feeling when it comes to online gaming. So it's great. It's great. All right. I hope that helps. Um, and uh, we'll be checking in as we go here. So uh, just a quick run through. Not as quick as I had hoped it would be, but uh, just a quick run through ish of all of the assignments that you guys have coming at you this week. So week two, we're doing a little bit more academics than we did last week, but like we're still we're easing in, we're easing in. Like I'm excited to see those of you who've never seen Hunger Games. Read the books, you guys. If you haven't read the books, they're so good. They're so good. They're so fun. Okay, um, I miss you guys. I hope you're all well. Hope you're staying healthy. And uh, peace out.